Mm, oh. <laughs> Timmy had in store for all of you today. This guy over here is a pork belly. That's right, a big fat piece of the belly part. Pork belly, pork head of sandwich. Mmm, -hmm. with caramelized onion marmalade, some peppery arugula, and a little bit of love. Actually, more like a whole lot of love. Does it get any more beautiful than that? Pork belly, pancetta, talera rolls, caramelized onion marmalade, Chef Timmy. I'm not sure it does. All right guys, I got my pan hot, put a little bit of uh, oil into it. I'm gonna cut these onions up real quick. lunch is definitely a two lemon meal. It is pretty easy to do. Um, there are some complicated steps, but once you get those steps down, smooth sailing. Uh, Alright, we got our big old belly laid out here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and score that meat all the way down. We'll do the same thing in the other direction. Going back the other way. <laughs> now that we got our guys scored, let's um pick a little of this fresh thyme just right on top of it. We're not too worried about where it lands, as long as it lands on the belly. Oh. Right, I got some kosher salt here with some nice, generous, generous sprinkle. Fuck yeah! Ground mustard. Ground mustard. Just a little, 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 little bit in there. Perfect. Fresh cracked pepper. Here's some rub sage. Uh, I really like this stuff. I like using fresh herbs, but I always have some rub sage on hand. It's just it's 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 it's, it's, it's really good. It's really it's really good. Just got a little bit of uh, olive oil here. I have a little bit of garlic paste here that I will put across there, and I think that should. <laughs> Be good. Let's um let's get our hands dirty. Oh, oh, rub that belly. Rub that belly good. Oh, not this again. So bit of town long. Oh, we we are we're going. We're still going. Okay. All right, now I have um, some, oh my God. Is this really necessary, Chef? Do I, do I have to go over the top like this? Yes, it is, it is necessary. What I have here is some oh, diced, uncured pancetta that I will just put all over that belly because um, who doesn't like a little belly to belly, you know what I'm saying? Little belly to belly action. 
pancetta. And here comes the fun part. This is where um where you really gotta get your hands in there. Oh yeah, get it tight. Roll it up nice and tight. Give this nice little spiral of goodness. <clears throat> I have my butcher's twine. I'm gonna take. Oh, my arm is so fucked. I'm gonna take two about lengths, about like that. Got your string? All right, come on. We're gonna come on the far end over here. Slide it under. You got it on the end. Now we're going to do what's called a butcher's knot. Very simple. You just go under once, under twice, under three times. Pull. See that? Stays where it's supposed to be. Now you can take this and just give it another quick little, hey, how you doing? Bada bing, right? Let's get rid of that guy. Don't need him. All right, pay attention, mother String comes straight up, back of my hand. Goes around the back of my hand. Ta-da. Twist it. Now I have this loop. This loop comes underneath. Comes up, and you just pull it tight. Did you catch that? Did you see it? Here it is from another angle. I'll show it to you another time, but I hope you paid attention. Remember that big knot right in the front, right? The butcher's knot. Okay, yeah, and then the whole wrap around the hand, loop de loop, underneath, pull it tight. Let's see what it get. From my hand, I bring it under, okay, and then loop it up like that. That way, when I come up around, you're on there. And you pull tight. And one more time from another angle. Loop de loop underneath. Get it snug. Pull it tight. Scooby doo, scooby doo. Got my baking sheet here with some parchment paper and a couple of roasting racks on there. Give it a little air underneath. I'm gonna give it a nice little coat with some salt so that way we get a nice crust on the outside. I preheated my oven to 325 degrees. I'm gonna let it go in there for about an hour and a half in which I will readjust the heat to 400 and put it in for an additional half an hour so that way we get a nice crispy crust on the outside. Let's get it in the oven because um, I want to hurry up and put it in my mouth. Now that our onions are cooked down nicely, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's take a look up. Super simple recipe, super delicious. Couple of sweet onions, about a tablespoon of brown sugar, Half a cup of water, cook it down until it's, well, pretty much mush. Two hours later. Started out at 325, put it on there for an hour and a half. Then I raised up the heat to 400 degrees. Put it in for another 35 minutes to get that nice crispy crust on the outside. Then we're gonna go ahead and pull it out at 145 degrees. Let it rest. For a good 10 minutes. Then we're gonna cut that baby open and put it 
in my mouth. Mm. My caramelized onion marmalade is kind of long very nicely. Are you guys as excited as I am? Let's go ahead and cut these uh, twine off. I'm gonna give this feller just a couple more minutes of rest time before I cut into it. And while I do that, I will mix my arugula, arugula, arugula. I can't say arugula without saying it like Rocky. Yeah, 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 some And one of my favorite things in the world, this is a boar's head deli dressing. And we have our caramelized onion marmalade. Take our Tolero roll. And now, drum roll please. Now, cut off a nice little sandwich size portion. I'm too much sometimes, I'm too much, but that's okay. So, today is Saturday, October, what is it, 15th? 14th. It is 5.29 p.m. This, my friends, I will not be able to consume this whole thing. So, to my pals that live near me, you know where I live, give me a call, you want some of this? Hey, there's going to be enough for a few of you. When it's gone, it's gone, baby. When it's gone, it's gone. Some of that caramelized onion marmalade on the top bun. And some of that Great arugula right on that bun. And there you have it, folks. Oh, one of my very, very favorite sandwiches, the porchetta. You can't really beat this one, can you, Sequoia? Mm -hmm. This porchetta sandwich will go down in history as one of the greatest sandwiches ever made. So, yes, I went ahead and did it. And now I'm gonna eat it. Oh my God. Don't you wish you could put this in your mouth? Holy fuck. That's like, that's like better than I, th I thought it would be. Oh my God, I totally forgot something.
just a little finishing touch. No other reason other than to uh, just, you know, make it over the top. Good night, everybody. I love you. I do. I really do. Not as much as I love this sandwich. Well, that's another show. Thanks for watching, everyone. This, is, this has been a fun little adventure, and with the encouragement I've been getting from all of you and all the love, um, I don't think I'm going to stop anytime soon, so... What you have Timmy saying, put it in your mouth and tell me you love me. Mm, oh. <laughs>